Welcome to part four of Omni Calculator's mini series on how to cool your drinks faster using science. Today, I'm particularly excited about this hack. So I don't have any clever ways to entice you to like, comment, subscribe, and all of that. So just remember, we made already three videos in this series and let's get to the hack. I can't wait to try this hack because it's the kind of thing that sounds too good to be true, but then you look at the science and it seems sound. Allegedly, all you need to do is take a paper towel, soak it in water and wrap it around the drink. Then just place the drink outside and wait for it to get colder as if by magic. If you remember the previous video, link there, then we cool water by melting ice, turning thermal energy into melting energy. The principle here is exactly the same. For water to evaporate from the paper towel, it needs energy. And where is that energy gonna come from? From the drink, exactly. So if everything goes right, our hope is that we will be basically turning thermal energy into evaporation energy. I won't even bother with any calculations or simulations today. I already found a can that was sitting at room temperature. Then I took a paper towel, soaked it in cold water to give it every chance of success and wrap it around the can. You'll know why metal if you've seen the previous video, so follow the link. Then I left it outside and waited until it got cold. Wait, it's why? Why? Why is it not getting cold? What? Mm. So this is almost dry and it's barely any colder. So uh, clearly it doesn't work. So there must be something going on. I think it's time to bust out the calculators. So if we look at the latent heat of evaporation and we compare it to the latent heat of fusion, we can see that the evaporation heat is higher, greater, and therefore it should work better. But when you consider that a fully soaked paper towel can barely hold 20 milliliters of water, we can see that the drop in temperature is very small in comparison with the ice hack. And that's under perfect circumstances. If we consider that in a sunny day, most of the evaporation will happen right on the outside of the can and not next to the drink, we can see that this hack will not work. Does not mean that it doesn't work outright. We know that for thousands of years, humans have used this method of cooling in their own specialized containers. Even today, for example, the Botijo is used in the south of Spain to keep the drinks cool. But alas, you live and you learn, and thanks to science, we can separate the wheat from the chaff, which is exactly what we're gonna do in the next video, where we will conclude the series and we will declare a winner from all the hacks we've seen so far. So hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.